Hey guys, today I'm gonna answer the most searched questions about Romain Grosjean. It's a new format that I'm trying for you. As always, please make sure that you leave your comments, you tell us what you want, don't want, make sure you subscribe, you like. I guess it's time to go. Is Romain Grosjean married? Yes, I'm married with Marion Jolas Grosjean. We've been married for 10 years, 27th of June 2012, just after the Canadian Grand Prix. We actually, funny fact, we got married on a Wednesday because most of my friends are racing driver from WRC World Rally Car Championship, World Endurance Championship, myself was in Formula One at the time. So trying to find a weekend, apart from the 24th of December and the 31st of December, where no one was racing was almost impossible. It was an amazing day at 27th of June. Uh, we party outside until 4 or 5 a.m. Great, great souvenir. Is Romain Grosjean Swiss or French? Well, I'm both. I'm Swiss and I'm French. I've got two passports. I was born from a Swiss dad and a French mom. My wife would say that I am probably more a Swiss man than a French man, but I'm more French athlete than a Swiss athlete. So that'll be always on time. I love my cheese and my chocolate. But as a racing car driver, since 2005, 2006, run under the French flag. So I do feel like a French athlete, but I'm, I'm very Swiss on my everyday life. Is Romain Grosjean still racing? Yes, I'm racing in IndyCar since 2021. I retired from Formula One in 2020 and went to IndyCar in 2021 and now racing for uh, Andretti of Sport in IndyCar. And if you haven't watched any race, you should. It is pretty amazing. Uh, it's good racing, it's hard battle on track. It's good atmosphere between the drivers. I really enjoy it. Hope I can, uh, I can go for a few more years. Is Romain Grosjean good? Well, you tell me. I think I'm good, but you tell me. I mean, obviously in Formula One, I never got the chance to win a race. I was close a few times, had 10 podiums. I won the junior categories that I competed in. I was leading the World Championship of GT1 when I left to get back to single-seater. Won the GP2 back in 2011. Hopefully you're gonna win many races in IndyCar in the future. But it's uh, it's not an easy question to answer. But yes, I think I am good. Did Romain Grosjean drive the Mercedes? No, not yet. It, and it's 100% my fault. I haven't been able to give Mercedes some dates that I'm back in Europe. Obviously, if you have been following me on social, you know I've been I moved in the US in Miami. That, that's my house in, in Miami, my sofa. Moved in December 2021, got really busy. In 2020, I was supposed to drive the Mercedes at the French Grand Prix and then after that for test day at the Castellet for Ricard. But uh, due to COVID, the date of the French Grand Prix got moved and I had a race the same weekend. And then we wanted to do the test day, but then there was some quarantine between France and UK. So for Mercedes, it was getting very complicated. And then we had a date in September in Silverstone, but the track, uh, the track couldn't get booked. I've been in contact with Mercedes, Toto again. I saw Toto Wolf in Miami for the, the Formula 1 GP and he, he told me that yes, the test was happening and I, I don't doubt it. Mercedes has been really good at contacting me all the time, but as I say, it's my fault that I haven't been able to find some time to get back to Europe and do the test, which, uh, which I'm excited with. It should be the 2020 or 2019 or 2020 Mercedes Formula 1 car, which uh, were the two fastest that they ever built. So pretty exciting. Does Romain Grosjean like Lewis Hamilton? Well, yes, I mean, huge respect. He's one of the best driver ever. He's been incredible, seven-time world champion. Been fighting Max in 2021 in a really strong way. He's not the best car, delivering some astonishing races. In 2022, it's been a bit more of a struggle early in the year, but he's bouncing back. And uh, so yes, I, I don't know Lewis outside of the racetrack. We never, you know, at dinner or meet or whatsoever. But at the racetrack, huge respect. I like the way he drives. I like the way he just uh, he gives it all all the time and uh, in a very uh, in a very good manner. So yes, I do like Lewis Hamilton. Why did Omar Grosjean retire from Formula 1? Because I got to the end of the chapter of Formula 1. I, I was lucky to spend almost 10 years in Formula 1. I was lucky to have some really good cars. Lotus in 2012 and 2013, in 2015. Haas Hurley in 2016 and, and 2018. Um, I also was kind of less lucky to get some, some less good cars through my career. I, I got to the, the end of what I wanted to do in Formula 1. I, what I could do is what I had, you know. Competing to, to just be on the grid wasn't something I was interested in anymore. Staying with us to, to be at the back in 2021 wasn't really an option that I, um, that I wanted. And, and actually, yeah, I decided that um, I would, um, whatever happened, leave Haas at the end of 2020 at the first race that we actually made in, in 2020. It was Red Bull Ring, first race weekend after the COVID and the lockdown. Lost the brakes two times the weekend. Just thought that that was it. I didn't want to 
you know, I was lucky to be at the beginning of Haas. Uh, had a great experience, but I uh, also got to a point where I knew we couldn't fight for the podium. I knew we couldn't win races, and, and that's something I wanted to do. So I wanted to go somewhere where every weekend that I, you know, leave my house, leave my family behind, I go on a racetrack and, and I know I can compete for win. That's what I found in IndyCar. That's why I love it so much. Where does Romain Grosjean live? I live in Miami, Florida, in the USA. We were lucky to find a nice house. I've got uh, cocoa trees in my garden, a swimming pool that I can use 365 days a year. We're not too far from, from the sea. So on the weekend when the kids you know, are here and it's nice weather, well, it's pretty much all the time when nice weather, but we can go at the beach, I can kite surf, we can have some fun. Uh, I've been kite surfing next to dolphins. I've been beaten by a jellyfish that wasn't so good. We've seen alligators. I've had to fight a few snakes in the garden, which, which I don't like. Snakes are big no, but you have to do what you have to do. We love being in states. We love the welcome that we got from everyone here. I love the different culture that you get in Miami. American people, of course, South American people, European people, our neighbors are French here, the Spanish is Americans. I've made quite a lot of new friends. I love being outside. It is very hot in the summer, but I don't mind the heat. So yes, that's been a good move and, and I'm super excited that, that we live in the, in the US. Uh, it's funny how the kids are taking the, the American accent, talking in, in English. Absolutely love living in Miami and uh, I'm really happy we're here. Where is Romain Grosjean racing now? As I say, in IndyCar, that's all over the, the States, North America. One race in Toronto, Canada. Hopefully more races in South America, maybe Argentina, maybe Mexico. Would love to go racing in Europe uh, with IndyCar for a bit. Would love to do Le Mans. 24 hours if the schedule allows it so a lot to to think about a lot on my plate but uh, yes racing in the in the usa for now how to pronounce romain grosjean's name well it's romain grosjean i know it's very hard if you're not french native i got romain 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 gross jean gross jan gross i don't blame anyone i know it's a it's a very hard word to say for example availability in english is a word that i can't pronounce properly i'm really struggling so i don't blame anyone for you know getting my uh, my name kind of wrong so romain Grosjean is the perfect pronunciation. I would go by RG, I would go by Romain, I would go by Romain, I would go by the Phoenix. Just, just call me the way you feel it's the easiest for you. How many crashes has Romain Grosjean had? Few, yes. In French, we say we don't make an omelette without breaking eggs. You don't become a race driver if you haven't crashed a few times. You know, trying to find the limit is always hard. Obviously, sometimes you go too far, sometimes not enough. I'm definitely someone that likes to push things to the limit. So yes, I make mistakes. Uh, yes, I've crashed cars. But I think if we look at the stat, I'm more often finishing the race or not being involved in a crash than a crash. So as I say, sometimes I tried, I failed. I crashed the E500. I mean, I was driving the car, but the car just went from the reason. I crashed a week after in Detroit qualifying. That was 100% my fault. I, I messed up. I tried to find two tenths in a corner. That's something you will never do at a high level. But I also finished races and raced pretty well. Oh, Romain Grosjean's met his wife. Um, that's, a, that's a good story. Um, she used to be a TV presenter and I was watching her show that I really liked. And then I met her the first time in 2004, 2005 at the prize giving ceremony from the French Federation. And I saw her the year after again. So 2005 was the first time, 2006 I saw her again. 2007, we actually met properly for the first time because there were um, a go-kart race organized between a TV presenter and a pro driver. And I was part of that, that go-kart race and, uh, and I was her, with her there. And then 2008 is when we actually, after the Monaco Grand Prix, she had to do a, a subject about about, um, about me and, and something I was doing with Renault at the time. I was flying back to Paris in the evening. I lived in Geneva back in the days. So flying back to Paris and I tried to invite her for a drink, which she refused. So I was very clever in inviting a third person, a friend of ours, to the drink. So it wasn't like a date, it was just a drink. It took me about six months of traveling back for, from Geneva to Paris and Paris to Geneva to get my first kiss. We got together end of 2008, got engaged in 2011, got married in 2012, and as I said, we've been married for 10 years now. Who does Romain Grosjean drive for? I drive for Andretti Autosport, which is Michael Andretti. IndyCar team, they're involved in IndyCar, Indy Light, Formula E, Extreme E, V8 supercars, and some racing in South America as well. So it's a huge team, a very impressive facility back in Indianapolis. And one of the biggest names of the history, Michael Andretti being Marion Andretti's son, and Michael has got a son that was um, that's named Marco. That's been racing in IndyCar for quite a, quite some time. Retired last 
end of 2020, but pretty, pretty impressive uh, palmas in the family. What injuries did Romain Grosjean suffer? Well, during my career, a few things. I uh, broke my uh, collarbone in go-kart, then I broke my little finger, the pinky finger, is uh, here. And then obviously the big crash in Bahrain in 2020, I got burned on both hands. Second degree, second degree superficial on the right hand, so nothing apart from a little bit of discoloration here. My left hand is the one that obviously got hurt more. I've had uh, surgery, I've had skin graft. It's working well, it's a question that I have all the time. Actually today is a bit painful. Today the skin is a bit dry, so it doesn't work as properly as it should. It is painful all the day, all days. It is painful all the time. It's more a discomfort than a pain. You get, you get used to live with it. There's no special treatment that I need to do anymore. I can be out there at the beach, on the sun. I do cycle with gloves on just for, to avoid too much contact with the sun. But the humidity and the heat of the Florida weather actually makes my hand feel pretty good. I guess it was a good thing that we moved here. What Romain Grosjean will do next year? Next year I will be racing in IndyCar with Andretti Autosport, representing the, the number 28 car, DHL 28. Just gonna do the same and try to win more races and win the Indy 500. When did Romain Grosjean start Formula One? My first race was August 2009 next to Fernando Alonso at Renault. I got in the car and then I never sat in the car, never did a simulated day, never drove the car. No idea what I was going to find and uh, actually qualified 14th, uh, ran a decent Grand Prix. Uh, I did seven Grand Prix in 2009 before being uh, uh, being tanked by the team. That wasn't the plan, the initial plan, but I was part of the Flavio Briato management, driver's management. I was managed by Flavio himself. Uh, when a crash gate story, the, the cheating from Singapore happened, Flavio was banned from Formula One for life. The team owner sold the team and the new owner wanted to clear the path from the past. I got to, uh, to go home and uh, didn't really know what I was going to do. I went to do cooking school open days to see if I could become a cook. Apparently I was too old at the day, so I went to race in GT1 in a Swiss team. For a bit, did my first, well, my only up-to-date uh, Le Mans 24 hours race. Enjoyed it a lot and then came back with Dams, with Jean-Paul Drio in Auto GP, GP2 and in 2011 won the GP2 championship, which allowed me to get back to Formula 1 in 2012. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. You learned, you got to learn a little bit more about me. If you liked it, just, uh, just like, uh, leave me a comment, and I'll try to do more of this. Thank you for watching.